also i do not mingle on facebook i don't mingle on social media look i don't play around like i don't play around with people in my inbox i don't okay you guys welcome back to my channel lord let me fix the camera because i've done this video already but hey let's just do it again so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the honest truth of how I deal with lust as a single woman. I've already taken a bunch of notes because I'm excited about this video and I don't want to leave anything out. And the reason I'm excited about it is because I am going through this. I'm living this. I have overcome this. So you can take my word for it. I'm not just talking about this on social media. I'm not just talking about this on YouTube. I'm actually walking the walk. I'm, I'm walking everything that I'm talking about and I've overcome this. So I know what I'm talking about so i want y'all to get these tips today so i'm getting comfortable because like i said this is exciting and i've done this video a couple times and the volume wasn't there so i had to redo it but i'm gonna go ahead and get right in my first tip in you know we're all single we're trying to keep ourselves we know that our body is the temple of the, of the holy spirit our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are supposed to worship God with our body. So that means I cannot give my body up to fornication, lust, anything like that. So the way that I stay away from that, the way that I keep myself in this time is I stay in worship with God. And what I mean about that is I stay connected to God. I stay in that intimacy with God. Like I stay in, communi in communication with God. And also not only that, that I stay busy in the ministry. So like at my local church i stay i don't just go to church because we can't just go to church we got to get involved with the things in church we got to participate in church and if we participate in things and get involved in things and not only that like i just stay in the word of god i try to always stay studying something in the word of god even when i'm at work on my free time my lunch time I, I stay trying to read scriptures trying to get that word on the inside of me if i do that my mind can't wander off on other things that i'm not supposed to be thinking about because the enemy deals with us in our mind he'll bring thoughts in our mind he'll bring things in our mind he'll have us thinking about things that we're like what in the world why am i thinking about this but he will have us thinking about those things but if we keep our minds focused on the things of the lord we stay in that presence in the presence of the lord then we won't be worried about or thinking about being in any kind of relationship that's going to cause us to fornicate or anything like that also i avoid physical relationships or friendship and what i mean about that is i like no you can't come over my house no i'm not coming to your house and no we can't go to the movies i don't want to go out to eat nothing like that and some people say man well how are you going to ever date and be in a relationship if you don't want to go anywhere you don't want to be close to anybody and i was talking to someone today about this and we were saying you have to know what season you're in you have to know where you are in god and what god requires of you because what god requires of me he may not require that of you but i know for myself this is not the time for me to be dating and dating being close to people can lead to other stuff like kissing all that can lead to you getting involved in other stuff next thing you know you fornicated and now you're repenting to god because you're so sorry you didn't mean to do it you know so and i've been in a lifestyle of that i've been to at a point where i fell over and over and over again you know but the more i matured and god grew and god got closer to god i knew that god didn't want my body to be used in that way and that displeased god to see me give away way myself like that and i didn't want to be a uh i didn't want to displease god i wanted to you know make god smile because he's everything to me and so the more you grow because in the past it was hard for me I felt like it was such a struggle to keep myself but now i don't know if it's because i'm older but i feel like it's it's because i'm more focused i'm so focused on the things of the lord i'm so focused on my calling i'm so focused on serving the lord that i don't have time for other stuff you know we can't control what comes in our mind because thoughts come in our mind thoughts come in my mind but then i have to overcome those thoughts with other thoughts and fill myself up with other things you know and get my mind off those things so that i won't be creeping out also i do not mingle on facebook i don't mingle on social media look i don't play around like i don't play around with people in my inbox i don't you like i'm not gonna entertain you i'm not gonna lead you on i'm i just i'm just not gonna do it now 
I don't get a lot of activity in my inbox <laughs> like I used to back in the day. And I was telling somebody this months ago, I was like, man, people don't really come on to me or I don't really get too much, you know, attention, you know, on social media, you know, and the person was telling me, it's because they know who you are. They know what you stand for. Like a lot of people know who I am. They know who I stand for. And it's not that I'm sitting here saying, oh, I love God with a big sign, but I don't play around with certain things. You're not gonna see me on Facebook laughing about um, crazy things. You're not gonna see, you're gonna see me lifting up the name of the Lord. You're gonna see me encouraging people. You're gonna see me putting the word of God out there. And so when people see that, they kind of beg back because they, they know you're not gonna play with them. Now, if you got people playing with you in your inbox and you got people coming to you saying all kind of like off the wall stuff or sexual stuff then you might need to check yourself what is it about me that you feel like you can approach me like that because i serve the lord and i'm serious about it I don't play with people. Now, on, on TikTok, people are more bolder on TikTok because you don't really know these people. On Facebook, at least you, they're your Facebook friend or you know them from somebody else or you can go and research and see who they're connected with and all this kind of stuff. But on TikTok, they bold. They will shoot their shot and they don't care if you're on there preaching the word of the Lord. But I don't entertain it. I don't reply to it. I just stay away from it because I because once they say something, then I say something, then they say something. Now they went another way. Now I'm trying to see how to get out of this. And then the enemy will be tempting you, telling you to go meet up with them. It's okay. And you and you want to keep yourself. God has brought you out of these things. You don't want to go back. You want to keep moving forward. Another thing is I just focus on my everyday duties. The things that I know I'm supposed to be doing every day, that's what I focus on, like taking care of my son. My baby, my son, he's so important to me and that's one of my biggest responsibilities right now and I focus on taking care of him. And not just that, I have a full-time job, I have my home to take care of, I do things in the ministry, I do YouTube, I do stuff on social media. It's just like I have my, uh, my daughter that's in college. I, I have so much responsibilities that I can focus on that I don't have time to let my mind wander and then because one, one, one thing we do is when we sit idle our mind wanders and then we we sit idle too long our mind wanders all over the place and next thing you know we're in this lustful state we want to you know get involved in certain activities that we shouldn't get involved in and so you gotta make sure you stay busy and if you stay busy with the things that at least you're supposed to be doing you know a lot of you younger women might be in school or whatever it is then you stay focused on that i'm studying i'm trying to better myself you know and i'm trying to do things that's gonna uh please the lord and better myself better my family so i got time for that you know and i'm going back up to the part where not entertaining physical relationships that's so important like we all want to be with somebody like everybody want to be with somebody like nobody really wants to be by themselves you know and i don't want to be by myself but at this moment i have no desire to be with anyone because that's not what god wants for me right now like i said you have to know where you are in god know what he requires for you in this season and for me in this season i'm not supposed to be dating and i know that and i understand that and i respect the lord for that another thing is to pray I pray a lot. I pray a lot. I'm always praying. The Bible said men should always pray and not faint. Not faint. Not faint. Don't give up. Don't faint. Always pray. You know what I'm saying? And also to uh, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Resist him. Resist all these things that's coming against you. Resist these things that makes you want to... Um, you know be in a sexual relationship or you know give yourself in that way resist those things get away from those things push those things back one of the most important things that is going to cause people to not go to the next level is they they can't lose their life for for the lord christ said if you lose your life for my sake you'll save it but if you try to save your life you're going to lose your life and we're trying to save it we're trying to hold on to stuff and we want to let it go and we're losing ourselves we're losing our lives and our body is so important it's the temple of the holy spirit and we're supposed to set it aside to honor the honor honor the lord it's supposed to be set aside to be holy to honor the lord and so we have to really uh stay in a prayerful state always pray even when my mind starts to wonder and i'm like why am i thinking about these things why do i want this and i ain't wanted this in a long time well then now i got to pray i got to get in that place with god and talk to god because god already knows knows us he knows what we want he knows what we need he knows our thoughts 
He knows our desires. He already know everything about you. You may as well be honest to him and say, Lord, this is what I'm thinking about. These things are popping up in my head and I want to let it go because I want to please you. I want my life to please you. God will help you. I'm telling you, I'm a living testimony. God will help you. Also, inter uh, interact with older women that have been through what you're going through, have come out what you're going through, have experienced what you're going through. Like, um, I like to be around older women, not just older single women, but in any older woman that I know that's living this life that can encourage you, that can testify and tell you how they overcome and how God kept them. There are people out there that God kept them. You know, the devil is a liar. He'll have you thinking it's impossible. You cannot keep yourself. You know, no one can do it. You're young. Young people can't do it. Yes, young people can. And I'm, I'm testifying today on youtube on my channel on this channel make sure y'all subscribe to this channel all the single women if you're liking this video give this video a thumbs up let me know you in the house tonight it's nighttime where i'm at but yeah but he'll have you thinking that you can't do it but you can do it you have to stay focused you have to stay focused you have to deny yourself and you have to stay focused on the things of the lord it is possible it's possible but always stay around people that can encourage you one lady was telling me she was like you're young you could be out there dating living your life doing all kind of things but you're here serving the lord and that made me feel good that made me feel good because yeah i could be doing all that kind of stuff and it may seem like i'm missing out on a lot of stuff but i know where i am in the lord right now and i know what god requires of me and i have to separate myself i have to take a stand i can't do what everybody else do you know what i'm saying i can't be on dates with uh people all kind of people and then you know next thing you know it leads to other stuff I have to i have to keep myself god is protecting me right now and when it's that time god uh, i'll know when it's that time for me to move on and be in a relationship but right now it's not that time this is a, this is an important one y'all this is important because i find myself going here sometimes try not to reminisce on things in the past like relationships in the past different stuff you did in the past activities sexual activities don't reminisce about no fling marriage nothing in the past keep moving forward because when you start reminiscing like your mind go all kind of places next thing i know you're trying to send a text at two o'clock in the morning and, and as humans it's normal for us to reminisce on things i reminisce on my mom sometimes my mom passed away so i reminisce about you know her giving me a birthday party or just her being there when i had my baby just things like that so it's normal for us to reminisce and sometimes we can reminisce on past relationships especially if you was you were married or in a long-term relationship you reminisce on the good times but sometimes that can lead to other stuff and then you will cause yourself to be thinking about those things you know and we don't want to reminisce on the past we want to move forward and the last thing is like i'm going to say this but then i'm going to change what i say about this but don't watch things on tv or social media or whatever that is going to cause you to your flesh to rise up and want to cause you to have this passion of and you want to go call somebody <laughs> don't do it there was a point where i didn't watch people kissing on tv nothing like that like i would fast forward because i was like i don't want this in my sphere and i don't want to be dreaming about this and y'all know we can have these really weird dreams about stuff stuff that we won't even do in real life but we'll be dreaming about it but that's why you gotta always pray at this point i can watch stuff you know and it does not bother me it does not make me want to go call text somebody make have somebody come over to the house or no no kind of crazy stuff like that it doesn't make me want to do anything like that like it just i don't have the desire and sometimes i do pray i'm like lord you gonna give me my desire back right because <laughs> right now i don't have a desire for anything like that and i thank god for that because that means i can stay focused on the things of the lord as a single woman my life is to please the lord my mind should be on the things of the lord married women their lives is on the things of the world because they're thinking about how they can please their their husband single women and married women we're not the same we're not the same <laughs> like we're not so right now like i just i can do certain things that i couldn't do do before like i can watch things on tv it does not bother me now some stuff i do not watch because it's just ridiculous and it's disgusting and i just don't want to watch it but i can watch 
simple love scenes on TV and it does not bother me. But somebody else may not. You may not be able to. You might want to say, hey, you know, I'm going to fast forward that part. I don't even want to see that part because I don't even want to go there. You know, sometimes as women, single women, all ages, we're looking for like something. It's not that we just want to fornicate. We just want to go and do sexual things. Not all of us. Some people do. But some people want companionship. Some people want a provider, stability. You know, whatever it is that you want out of a relationship, you know, you might want that. But I can tell you as a personal testimony, God has been my provider. He has been sustaining me. He's been my stability. You know, he has been providing for me. He's been everything that I need in my life. And it's because my mind is focused on the things of the Lord. When you put your mind on things of the Lord, the Lord will take care of the things that you're concerned about. I don't have to worry about my children. God has placed people around them to help take care of them. I don't have to worry about certain things because it's already provided for me. When you focus on the things of the Lord, the Lord is going to take care of you. He promised anyways in his word that he'll supply all of our needs needs according to his riches and his glory so we don't have to worry about you know things like god is going to take care of those, th those things we don't have to go out and seek other relationships ungodly relationships so that we can get what we need god is everything we need because here's the deal here's what god is saying you're focusing on a relationship and you want this companionship intimacy with a man you're running after them but you don't run after me and this is god talking you don't run after me like you run after them you want to spend time with them but you can't spend time with me you loving them but you don't love me and god is a jealous god and he wants our focus in the season he wants us to be focused on him if you are single praise the lord you get to spend time with the lord you get to serve the lord and worship the lord with no limits on it there's no restrictions you get to go go full force in the things of the lord and that is a blessing as a single woman you know we all learn, uh, want to be married at some point but right now it is not a burden to be single it's a blessing you know paul said i wish that you would remain as i am single you know but if you can't it's better to marry than to burn but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found some type of value in this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel we're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers and we're almost there and you could be the person that helped get us there so go ahead and click that button make sure y'all stay tuned to my next video i'll see y'all later